the final frontier. Vance Astro, captain of space, departs the atmosphere for his latest mission. His faithful sidekick... Jason! Why are downstairs? Could you move the laundry from the washer to the drawer? I'm busy, Mom! They're my delicates, darling! Remember to foof them! Basement. Don't touch that dial. Don't walk away from your radio. That's right, boys and girls. It's time for another exciting adventure of everyone's favorite space explorer, Vance Astro, Captain of Space. This week's tale, Vance Astro versus the Space Pirates. It has been a slow week for our champions since their battle against the Neptunian Nightmare. Vance Astro and his ever-faithful robotic butler Jenkins take a break from their heavy schedule of space justice. It's so nice to take a break from our heavy schedule of space justice, Jenkins. Yes, sir. I'm quite parched. Will you grab me a space cola? A what, sir? Space cola, Jenkins! Sir, if I may, just because we are in space does not necessarily mean we must add the word space to every noun we may come across. Oh, hush your space mouth, Jenkins. I am a captain of space. I protect and serve all things space. Ask, our life is in space. I just think that we could simplify things. Jenkins like stands for something, right? I am a journeying electronic neo-human kindly invented for nice service. Exactly! Not journeying electric neo-human kindly invented for correcting captains of space. No, sir. That would be Jankikos. Right! So in conclusion, space is vast. I'm always right, and you are getting me a space cooler. I don't know how us robots lost the war. Immediately, the space calm rings! <laughs> The Spacecom, it's ringing. This is Vance Astro, Captain of Space. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Vance, this is the Commissioner of the United Galactic Federation. Are you there, Vance? Yes, Commissioner, I'm here. Vance, Vance, hello. <laughs> Commissioner. Can you hear me? I can hear you fine. Can you You're hear me? You're coming in and out, Vance. Damn this futuristic 8G network. Try tilting it. Like this? No, to the right. Ten minutes later. Can you hear me now? Yes, Vance. I need you to visit the nearby planet of Hollis 5. A new princess of the planet is being crowned, and we need to make sure that nothing bad happens during the ceremony. A princess? Really? Don't get any ideas, Vance. This is a routine protection mission. You are there to protect and make sure there is no funny business. Yes, sir. And Vance, keep that bag of bolts you have from screwing everything up. I don't want to find out that his carelessness cost us this mission. It will be tough, but I'll do what I can, sir. Good. May you fly swiftly through space. Commissioner out. Space justice will prevail. Jenkins! Oh, have you been there the entire time? No, sir. I was just trying not to screw everything up. Good. We're off to Hollis 5. Captain of Space, away! Faster than a comet across the starry sky, Vance Astro's starship, the Atomic Cruiser, shoots at warp speed to the nearby planet of Hollis 5, a medieval planet known well for its strange yet peaceful way of living. Yet no one would have ever guessed that sauntering its way to the great planet was another ship, one with a much less noble goal in mind, focused not on justice, but mayhem. Yar har fiddly dee, being a pirate is all right with me. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. We are the pirates. Yar, quit your singing, you yellow bellied landlubbers. We do not sing, we come to pillage, to capture, to Gener to cause generic yet unabashed mayhem. <laughs> First mate Pete. Aye aye, Captain. What is that there planet we be heading towards? Well, sir, that is the peaceful and medieval planet of Hollis 5. Hmm, Hollis 5, eh? That sounds like the exact type of place in need of some mayhem. Pirate style. <laughs> really? Pirate style? Yar. I mean, that, that goes without saying, does it not? Isn't most of what we do technically pirate-style? 
Well, I thought it'd be important that we clarify. Why would any other clarification be necessary? Peg Leg Paul's got an eye patch. One Eye Tom's got a peg leg. We sang the song. What other style would there be? By being descriptive in nature, it allows us to easily convey- I will not tolerate redundancy. You hear me? I will not tolerate redundancy. Boys, make him walk the plank. <laughs> the airlock, you fools. Throw him in the airlock. Oh, no. Not that. Don't use me as a plot device to show off how evil you are. <laughs> ah! Now let's go cause some mayhem. Yar, yeah, her fiddle How a despicable, how deplorable, how incredibly bad. We can only hope that back on Hollis 5, our hero, Vance Astro, Captain of Space, and Jenkins will be more than prepared for what is to come. Do you have any twos? Go fish. What? Go space fish. Good. Shouldn't we be keeping an eye out for potential dangers? This is a very important ceremony for the people of Hollis Five, and should anything go wrong, the entire society could crumble. Got any eights? It's my turn. Come in! Hello! Oh, Princess Shiara, come in. My, how beautiful you look. Oh, please. I'm not a princess yet, Vance. I just wanted to come and thank you for being here to protect me during my very important ceremony to my people. You must have a keen eye to be able to pre prevent trouble from long before it happens. I have the keenest eye in the galaxy. They don't call me Vance Astro, the keen-eyed captain of space for nothing, right, Jenkins? They sure don't. Oh, well, good. I'm so happy to be in such good hands. Princess? Princess? Yes, Chancellor? The ceremony is starting. Please come quickly. I'll escort you, Shiara. Oh, thank you, Vance. Later, as the ceremony commences, those evil space pirates watch from afar, waiting for their time to strike. Yar, we be waiting from afar, waiting for our time to strike. What are we waiting for, Captain? A distraction! We need a way to get Vance Astro to leave his post. If only we could get inside Vance's head, find out what he's thinking. This is so boring. All they do is talk. And it's not like the good kind of talk either. It's the boring kind. But that Chiara is so hot. Look at her. She should be the princess of, like, space hotness or something. I would totally hit that. But Jenkins would rat, out on, rat me out. He'd probably say something British, like, That's immoral, or pleasing hair witch, or something. Why does a robot have a British accent? You should have a factory accent, like, Grr, robot. I wonder if robots think. Something bad is going to happen. Something bad always happens. If I hadn't been designed to keep perfect time down to the nanosecond, I would set my watch to something bad happening. And it would be all Vance's fault. Look at him over there. I'm Vance. Get me a space cola. I'm playing Go Space Fish. Would you like space fries with that? Cola is still cola. Go Fish is still just Go Fish. And justice, no matter the location it is enforced, can still simply be called justice. At least he looks like he's paying attention now. I get knocked down, and I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Pissing the night away! I have to pee. Jenkins, where's the bathroom? I have to pee. Now is not the time. We have a job to do. But I really have to go. <sighs> Fine, but hurry up. I don't want anything to happen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Yar, did you see that? He just up and left! Strike now! And just like a hot cutlass through space butter, Captain Starbeard and his crew rain down on the poor people of Hollis Five. We be the space pirates, and this is our time to shine. Boys, let's cause some mayhem. Yar! <laughs> Someone help us, please! The space pirates are attacking! 
I'll be taking that. My space pearls. Rance, where are you? Oh, this feels so much better. You, Robert. Yes, mistress. Where is Vance? We need him to protect us. I think he went to the little captain of space's room. Well, get over there and pull him out. I'll be taking that. My space wallet. <laughs> I'll be out in a second. You miserable, no good excuse for a bipedal thinking machine. Zip up your trousers and help these people before, so help me God, I come in there and give you such a kicking. I'll be taking that! My perfect mustache! Fine! I'll take that instead! My princess! Ah, help me! Someone please help me! Come on, boys, we got what we came for! Yeah! <laughs> Wow, that took forever. Is the ceremony over? You son of a... Where did the princess go? Will Vance find her? What is the secret to the Chancellor's perfect mustache? Stay tuned to find out after a short word from our sponsors. Dinner is ready. Ooh, alphabet soup, my favorite. Not exactly. Take a closer look. It only says my name. That's right, Dee Dee. It's letter soup, a great way to personalize dinner. I just had to buy the D soup and the E soup, and I got your name. Dee Dee! Why about my name, Mom? Cornelius, we don't have that kind of money. Letter Soup! It's earned an A in flavor! Letter Soup did not earn an A in flavor, it earned a C. Comes only in ch ch tomato and chicken broth flavors. Letter Q, Z, X, and E are not available. And now we return to the adventures of Fast Vance Astro, Captain of Space! When we last left our hero, the space pirates had just captured the beautiful Princess Shiara and brought her back to their ship. Meanwhile, back on Hollis 5, Vance Astro comes up with a plan to rescue back our fair maiden. You got any threes? Go space fish. Sir, what are you doing? The princess needs saving. Chancellor, isn't there an army full of capable soldiers you can send after those pirates? No. We are a small, medieval, yet peaceful people. There is nothing we can do. Vance... You heard the man. They are a small, medieval, yet peaceful people. There is nothing we can do. Any nines? Go, Spacefish. Vance! Okay, fine. I'll devise a plan that will sneak us onto their ship. Chancellor, I'll be back to continue the game. Ahem. <clears throat> With the princess. No peeking at my cards! Meanwhile, on the Space Pirates' fearsome ship, Captain Starbeard and his band of miscreant revel in their newfound, ill-begotten riches. Yar, here we be, reveling in our newfound, albeit ill-begotten riches. Yeah. Yar! Release me, you wicked man! My people need me! That wouldn't be very wise now, would it? Here we be, with all our money and jewels, yet the most prized possession of them all wishes to be let go. I'm sorry, Missy, but I can't let you do that. You will release me this instant. Too many plans, milady. We just got too many plans for you. Like what? Huh? Like what? What plans do you have that are so important that you I cannot be released? Like big plans... You know? No, I don't know. We well, uh, you'll just have to find out. Ha! At that very same moment, Vance Astro and Jenkins had snuck their way onto the ship, looking for the perfect way to strike. Finally, we made our way onto this ship, thanks to my brilliant plan. Why, yes. Oh, how I wish I had come up with the plan to knock on the main airlock yelling, Shakey's Pizza Delivery. 